because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shut, shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're here in a very, very hot York call. Richard, how are you? Very good. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. We've just seen Fraser Clark, 10 round test against Marius Wack. How did you assess his performance? Yeah, really good, really good. You know, considering, you know, who's Wack, Wack has been in there with, you know, you have to give him credit. He was disciplined, he switched off a few times, but, you know, he did what he needed to do. He got the rounds on his belt. And yeah, he's moving at a good, at a good pace, 100%. Are they the rounds that were needed heading into a British title fight? Absolutely, you need those rounds. Being able to figure out a, a tough guy like that that knows his way around the ring. I saw some, sometimes he would um, throw like a counter left, counter right, and it was landing. So it's things that he can go back to the board now and work on, you know, back into the gym. So yeah, it's, it's good, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Just touching on yourself, big news over the past 24, 48 hours coming out that you've now been ordered to fight Jao Pattaya, RBF champion. From your point of view, happy to get that uh, mandate? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. That's what we're waiting for. Um, you know, with, with this game, it's tough because some, a lot of these champions, they always find a way to swerve. You know, they talk a good game, how they're ready to fight everybody, but not everybody's on it. Nobody wants to fight punches, so I don't blame them. Obviously, Jabatai has had some promotional issues since his win against Maris Bradis last year. Do you believe that the fight will have a deal made or will it go to purse bids? I think it, I think it makes sense to get a deal made. Yeah. He'll get good money. He would have, he would have a, a big platform as well to showcase his skills. So it's, it's a no-brainer. He can go to purse bids, but you know, there's a chance that he, actually, he can get less money. So you have to just kind of... Um, make sure he makes the right decision, pretty much. How confident are you that you take that IBF title off for Joe? Oh, 100% confident. Yeah. You know, when I switch on, like people know it is, man. It's, it's just a matter of time before, before the cream rises to the top. That's, that's all it is. Is your plan to take that title off of him and do the big old British unification, whether that's a Coley winning in a rematch or Billum Smith repeating the outcome of the first fight? Yeah, absolutely. That's what I think would be great for boxing, great yeah. for the cruiserweight division. You know, it just reminds me of um, of um, David Hay versus um, Enzo Macroleni. Just that big showdown. Everybody come out, have a good time, and watch a good fight. You know, two unified championship on the line, two two British fighters. Man, what what more would you ask for? Last one. All being well, you beat Jabatia. You're going for the unification. Who do you think you will be fighting for that WBO title? Will it be Chris Billum Smith, the current holder, or will Akoli avenge that loss? I'm not too sure because you know I'm hearing things through the grapevine. Maybe Akoli may want to move up to heavyweight okay. or bridgeway division. You know, maybe maybe it's, it's tough making weight. You know, I think he's a vegan as well, so maybe it's time to start eating properly and you know and training properly as well. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see how it all pans out. But with this game, you just never know. You know, everything changes at any minute. Richard, thank you very much for being to IFL TV and hopefully we'll get some news on that world title fight very soon. For sure, for sure. Thank you, mate. Because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shot up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.